Okay, so we have x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. And of course, that's a lot of x plus 1s, but uh, the objective of this video is, of course, to write this product. We have x plus 1 times itself over and over again, right? We want to write this in the easier manner, and that's why we'd like to use power. So we're going to go ahead and write this as a power. And um, as we go through this process, it's not that difficult. We're going to just review what a power is and what's the basic parts of it. And then, of course, obviously how to write something like this as a power. So we're going to get to that in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can find a link to a math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I um, have 100 plus different uh, math courses. So uh, I have the big courses like pre-algebra, geometry, algebra two, algebra one, college algebra, et cetera. But I have a lot of specialty courses. So um, if you're studying for a particular type of test like the GED, SAT, ACT, or college placement or teacher certification exam or some sort of other specialty type of uh, test like nursing entrance exam, a lot of these uh, exams have math on it. So I have a lot of custom math courses. So it's taken me a long time to figure out what's on these particular exams and I build custom curriculum uh, to kind of uh, get you prepared in a uh, very streamlined way for these exams. So again, so, um, you know, if that's your need, or let's say you're a homeschooler and you need to do independent study, I have a lot of members that uh, use my program as uh, in that manner as well. And obviously, if you're struggling in a course right now, let's say you're taking college algebra, and you're just not clicking with your teacher's instruction you can use my instruction to supplement what you're learning, and that will be a very effective way for you to improve in mathematics. Now, one thing that you absolutely need to be doing as a math student, and I assume that you are if you're watching this video, and that is taking great notes. This is kind of like my golden rule of math over decades of teaching the subject is those students who take great math notes almost always have great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who don't take math notes just don't feel it's important. They're misinformed, okay? They're like, well, no, I really don't want to do it. And why don't most students want to do it? Well, it's one of a few different reasons. One, it requires work, all right? It requires effort to take great math notes. So a lot of students think it's optional. They're like, eh, you know, I'm already working hard enough. I'm not going to do this extra work. Well, it's not really extra work. You got to think of it as a requirement. And then the second reason that students uh, don't uh, take great math notes is they're distracted, okay? They're like, hey, they're talking to their best buddy, they're on their cell phone. Guess what? I get it because I was a student uh, one, <laughs> one time way back in the good old days. Fortunately for me, there were no cell phones when I was going to school because if there was, I don't even know if I was able to graduate because I'd be completely distracted. So you got to be very, very disciplined about your approach when you're learning mathematics. If not, if you can't remain focused, you're going to have a very difficult time uh, learning. So start improving on your note-taking if that is your case, and probably that's the case for most people out there. Remember, um, is well, at least in my experience, there's only a handful of students uh, typically in an average classroom that take excellent, outstanding notes, even better than my notes, okay? There's, wow, you know, and these students as always did great for themselves because they're writing information down and it's, you know, it's not enough for you to copy your friends notes or you to look at their notes. You're like, well, I'll just go find that person. I'll look at their notes. No, no, no. You have to take your own notes because the mechanics of learning retention comprehension is important. So anyways, enough on notes, you know, what need you need to do, but in the meantime, you need something to study from if you don't have good notes. So I offer uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, and uh, Algebra 2 and Trigonometry notes, and you can find a link to those notes in the description of this video as well. Now, I did spend a lot of time on notes, all right? That's because it's that important, all right? So if you want to take a little bit of notes uh, about uh, this particular uh, topic, you could do that, or you could pick up um, my Algebra notes. Uh, it, explain, it has this topic in there, so we would be talking about powers and exponents. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this. And let's just review what a power is. Okay, so let's just start with something simple like this. And we would say this as two squared, all right? Or two to the second power. So most people would say, okay, two squared. If you heard that, two squared, you'd be thinking two to the second power. But 
what this means is we're going to multiply 2 by itself. Okay. Now, this little number right here, that's called an exponent. Let's going to write this over here. 2 to the second power. This thing, and I'm going to use some different numbers here because we have 2 and 2 twos here. It's a little confusing. This is an exponent. And this big number down here is called the base. All right, that's the base. And this whole thing together, we would consider a power. Now, the exponent is the number of times we're going to multiply the base by itself. Okay, so if the base here is 2, what we're saying is multiply 2 by itself 2 times. 1 and 2. Of course, 2 times 2 is 4. All right, so 2 squared or 2 to the second power is 4. And hopefully, um, most of you out there would be like, oh, yeah, I knew that. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to something easy like this one, 2 cubed. So what are we doing here? Well, we're changing the exponent to 3. So what does that mean? Well, it means we're going to multiply 2 by itself how many times? Well, 2, or sorry, 3 times, right? We're going to multiply 2 by itself 3 times, so that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. Now, you see I use this multiplication operator x, but this is a more uh, kind of common one, this little dot like this, especially in algebra, because uh, this can get confusing as a variable. But in algebra, like 2x means 2 multiply by x. So you really don't want to do that. But I did it here just to kind of start off nice and easy. All right, so 2 times 2 times 2. Of course, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 cubed, or 2 to the third power, is 8. And of course, I multiplied three by its, uh, two by itself three times. All right, so hopefully you kind of get the idea. Now, what about y to the fourth? Well, y to the fourth, well, we just, what do we do here? Well, we're multiplying y by itself how many times? Well, four times, but there's no, there's not going to be any final product here. So this is equivalent to y times y times y times y. So this is a good review. All right, so y to the fourth is the same thing as y times y times y times y. Okay, so hopefully you're kind of picking up the pattern here. So what if I have x times x times x? Okay, how would I write that as a power? Okay, so I have the same base, right? That's the same thing being multiplied by one another, but how many times is it being multiplied by itself? Well, it's being multiplied by itself three times. So yes, you can write this as x to the third power. Okay, so let's just do one last problem. What if I had 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? Okay, so how can I write this as a power? Okay, well, the first thing is we have to notice that the base here is 2. It's the same number um, being multiplied by itself. So that's very important. So we got this same number being multiplied by itself how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So... We can write this as 2 to the fifth power. Okay, again, the little 5 up there is the exponent, and the 2 is the base. You need to know the parts of this. So <clears throat> when we're referring to something as a power, we're really, you know, we're referring to this whole thing here. Okay, but the base and the exponent make up the power. All right, so now that we reviewed all this, maybe um, most of you out there knew this. Maybe some of you didn't know this. If you're checking in on this video, if, if you didn't know how to do this problem, okay, I'm glad that you're looking at this video, watching this, because you're going to walk away from this video, you know, really, you know, uh, upgrading your knowledge and powers and exponents. Of course, you know, um, we can have more sophisticated problems, but let's just start with the basics, basics first. Okay, so here we come, all right, to this uh, problem. Now, we got to recognize here, we have what being multiplied by itself. Well, just because we have some parentheses here, don't get confused. This is this thing, x plus 1, and we're multiplying it by itself, okay, how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So how do we write this as a uh, power? Well, let me scoot this guy over here. Woo, okay. All right, so we have x plus 1 being multiplied by itself four different times. So that we can write this as the power x plus 1 to the fourth power. Okay, what is the base? The base is x plus 1. Okay, that's the base. And 4 is the exponent. Okay, again, 
when it comes to powers, anything can be the base, all right? Anything can be the base. So if I had, let's say right here, this times y, okay, how could I, you know, like, what would I do with this expression, okay? If I said simplify this expression in terms of powers, well, I would say, okay, I got x plus 1 times itself uh, 4 times, so it could be x plus 1 to the 4th power. Then I have this y over here, so I would just put y, okay? Because this is obviously a different base, has nothing to do with this, but it is multiplication, okay? So, you know, as you practice these powers and exponent problems, you'll uh, get better at this. Now, one thing that you want to know is if I give you a power like this, this is called expanded form, okay, when we can expand out, all right, and then sometimes you're given the expanded form and we want to write the power. So a lot of different variations in, um, you know, powers and exponents, but powers and exponents are absolutely critical in mathematics. You got to know how to work with them. There's other rules and properties with them, but, you know, first things first, let's just understand conceptually why we like to use powers, okay, instead of you know, writing a long thing out like this, we can write this in a nice, easy manner. That's why we have powers and exponents, but um, of course you need to practice this. Remember, watching math is not the same thing as learning math. Watching someone take great notes is not the same thing as you taking great notes. You have to practice mathematics if you uh, actually expect to improve in it. And my job is to keep you interested in learning math, okay? My, old, my goal uh, always is to teach math in a clear and understandable way, in a way that you like, so you can stay motivated about learning the subject. Okay, It's a very, very important, and I want you personally to go uh, to as advanced of a math level as you, uh, as you can, Okay, which for most of you out there could be much higher than what you probably think it is. Okay, so if you like this video in some way, if you found it educational, helpful, or you just said, wow, that was just a fun video, please consider smashing that like button. That would definitely help me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. It's a great place for someone like myself who is obsessed with teaching mathematics. Okay, On my channel, you'll see various playlists, basic to advanced um, playlists, and of course, I'm posting uh, uh, new math material all the time. But if you want my best math resources, check out the links in the description of this video. All right, well, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.